We are in London and I'm going to show you around Shoreditch, an iconic part of London. But I've come out in a jacket and I wasn't really expecting it to be this warm today. But it doesn't matter, we're out now. I was actually born in London, but whilst I was growing up, this isn't a place that I visited. I kind of stayed around where I was brought up, the exact area where I was brought up. I was brought up in North London. And Shoreditch is not really a place where I was used to, or I was really familiar with. But I have been there a few times. I haven't really dug deep into all of the amazing things that it has to offer, but I do know that it's very well known. I don't even know what it is. Is it a jumper? Is it a dress? I've already uh, got lost. But everywhere is filled with so much street art. Even the walls are filled with graffiti and all the buildings. Got lost already. But I'll try and make my, my way back, back to the main road. This is super cool. And if you don't know, I've got a real interest in art. So these are the sort of things that really grab my attention. These are super cool. I wonder how long they take to actually do. Now I think it's safe to say that everyone knows that fish and chips is a very popular dish in England. Now behind me, as you can see, Poppy's Fish and Chips. This is a really famous fish and chip shop. In Shoreditch, you can get a fish and chips portion for around £10. And yeah, it's really famous. Apparently the owner died in the last few years. There's even a place for all you football fans. You even got a place where they do vintage football jerseys. These are really cool. You got Brazil, Liverpool. Designer vintage bags, glasses. Some more designer vintage bags, Prada shoes. This place is so big. There's so much to see. I think all of these are independent stores, so. Different people own different sections inside here. Levi's jeans, forty-five pound. I mean, you pay about a hundred pound, hundred and twenty for a new pair. Vintage vinyl records. This is what I'm talking about. Fleetwood Mac. The sun is feeling so warm right now, so I'm gonna kind of have a look for somewhere to maybe have a drink, a cold drink, before we go and visit some other places. <clears throat> there is so much to see here. Every street has different types of shops, like handmade, handmade shops. It 
just really is full of different vibrant places and bear in mind today is a Thursday apparently the market day is Saturday and Sunday but they do have other small markets on just during the week so we found this little food market that's open right now um, apparently it's open during the weekend as well but we're gonna have a little look around I don't really fancy any food right now but I wouldn't mind a nice cold drink if I can find that here I'm gonna show you a few of the things that they have to offer That was good. So that was like a sweet chili chicken bite. I don't know if it was authentic to any country, but they had a mix of uh, different foods from around the world. I think we're near to the, the bagel shop, the really famous bagel shop that is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Guys, I've got a question for you. How do you pronounce that brand? Is it Loewe or is it Loyu? Write in the comments how you pronounce it. We just found a small chocolate shop. It looks really nice. It's called Dark Sugar Chocolate. For this many chocolates, it was seven pounds, which is quite a lot of money, but I guess for the odd treat, you can't really complain. Obviously you can't afford to spend that every single day, but a one-off is not bad. So that is the bagel shop, the famous bagel shop that is open 24 hours, seven days a week. They do salt beef, tuna bagels, cream cheese, avocado. I mean, it does look very busy right now, but usually it's super, super busy. So I have to stop off for a cold drink. Feeling peachy, and I'm gonna try one of the chocolates. I think I'm gonna try the mango. It's a vegan chocolate. This is what it looks like. It's got some green on top. I'm guessing that's just decoration. It doesn't have mango inside. It also doesn't taste vegan. But I guess if they say it's vegan, it is vegan. Mm. It is really nice though. It has got a bit of sweetness to it. Yeah, really nice. Is it worth one pound? Or £1.20? I don't know. But it's tasty. I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.